Hi everyone. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about the Teachability Index. I know I've sent you a couple of emails about the subject, so today I'm going to try to explain it a little bit more so you can understand it. Because this is one of the most important principles you need to get. It's absolutely that important. Because if you want to be successful in anything, if you want to learn something new and be successful at it, you always need to be teachable. You always need to be coachable. So how do you know what is your level of teachability? How do you know if you're teachable or not? Because if you're not teachable, you're, no, you're wasting your time. So, teachability index, two variables. Two questions, as a matter of fact. First, you need to ask yourself this question. What is your willingness to learn? And this is simple. Just, are you willing to learn? What are you willing to give up? To learn something new. If you want to learn a new language or you, if you want to learn how to play a new instrument, are you willing to sacrifice time, money to learn this material? Think about it. If the best thing you like is uh, watching TV, if that's your favorite thing, if your favorite thing is you know, going, playing with your kids or, um, you know, reading a novel or, you know, go bowling. Pick up the best thing you like to do and ask yourself, are you willing to sacrifice that thing for a short period of time in order to learn something new? That will show you what is your willingness to learn. The second variable is it's even harder. If you thought the first one is hard, the second one is definitely harder. You have to ask yourself, what is your willingness to accept change? Are you willing to change the way you eat, the way you exercise, the way you talk, the way you speak, the way you do things, and most importantly, the way you think? Because it got you to the in the first place to where you are right now so if you want to change if you want change in your life you can't be expecting that things will be the same and some miraculously something will change because unless you change something that you're doing because what are you doing right now is putting you in the place where you are and if you're not happy with where you are then something has to change and maybe a lot has to change People think, generally think, that they have a high teachability index, but they're not. Because if you are willing to learn, you have a high willingness to learn, and you want to learn something. But if you don't want to change anything, if you're 10 on willingness to learn and 0 on willingness to change, 10 times 0 is 0. You are not teachable. So... And if you are, by the way, that's okay, because we are all different with our teachability index. And it's always changing. So if you are not teachable, if you're not willing to learn, or if you're not willing to accept change, then your first mission, your first goal, is to become teachable. That's your goal. It's not buying the Ferrari. It's not, you know, uh, you know, uh, living in the mansion and traveling the world. That should be your first goal, is to be teachable. And it will change from day to day, hour to hour, you know, month to month, because we're like a sponge. Our teachability goes up until to a point where we need to absorb the information we get. So, teachability index, very important. You have to get it if you want to be successful, want to learn anything. Two questions, two variables. What is your willingness to learn and what is your willingness to accept change? And they both have to be high in order to you, for you to have a high teachability index and your chances of succeeding will be much, much higher. Thank you for watching and have a great day.